Hello and welcome or welcome back. My name is Tahira and I'm so glad that you're here. So we're just gonna jump right into it. Your mental health is valid and it's so important. For a very, very long time, I neglected my mental health. I didn't take it seriously, which is very, very easy to not do so, especially since, you know, you can't, you can't see it. So if you can't see it, it's just like, you can very easily dismiss it, call it a bad day, call it a bad week, a bad month. But if you really look at the scope of your day to day, and then from a bird's eye view, your month, and then from a higher eye view, your th past three months, and then a higher eye view, your past six months, your past year. If you don't take care of your mental health, life can very, very easily pass you by. I have experienced that myself. Trust and believe I have been rock bottom. I have depression and anxiety and I did not take my depression or anxiety seriously for many, many years. It took my mental health affecting my physical body for me to actually take it seriously. My rock bottom was very scary. I was sick through my mouth <laughs> and the other end at the same time. It was not pretty for days. I was very, very sick. And at first I thought it was some chili that I ate. <laughs> I'm being real with you. I thought it was some chili that I ate. And I was like, damn, how did I make myself this sick? I don't understand. It was not the chili that I made. No, 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 no. Poor Tahira. It was not the chili that I made. I was at the time, unbeknownst to me, I was going through a rock bottom in my mental health journey. Um, I didn't realize this until probably a few weeks after this event happened. Shortly after that, I had experienced my very first, <laughs> my very first panic attack. Okay, if you've experienced a panic attack, I was on the FDR. <laughs> if you are in New York, I was on the FDR in traffic with my friend having a full blown panic attack. It did not feel good. After I had this event happen, I realized that that chili that I had ate <laughs> a few weeks ago and this panic attack. <laughs> It was all connected. So I realized that, you know, these sickness events um, that I had um, were connected to my mental health. I was not in a good space mentally and I needed to really buckle down and get a hold on my mental health before I really spiraled out of control. There was a long period in my life where I was completely just numb and devoid of all emotion. Like, I was just going day to day, waking up, going to work, going to bed, and not thinking about how Tahira feels. How do I feel? How is life making me feel? Am I happy? Am I sad? Am I frustrated? I, I wasn't feeling any emotions. I received advice from family and friends when I would disclose to them that I was struggling with my mental health to take walks, eat more vegetables, drink some green juice. Personally, what worked for me is to see a therapist. It is okay to see a therapist. I feel like the stigma of going to a therapist and reaching out to get therapy, that stigma is disappearing. However, I feel like there still is a very, very high stigma against taking medication also for your mental health. And 
I want to say so this has been I've been on week three I think of taking medication for my anxiety and depression after about two years of refusing <laughs> flat out refusing to take medication for my anxiety and depression and I wish that I took it sooner it has helped me far beyond anything that I could have imagined and it's only been three weeks wow is all I can say so if you're thinking that you might need to seek a therapist uh, and see a psychiatrist and get some medication to help you on your mental health journey um, coming from me and my experience thus far and my experience has not been perfect and I will say that again I have been on this journey for years now so I have been in therapy for you know intense therapy for about two years um, my therapist was <laughs> suggesting that I see the psychiatrist for many 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 months I refused I refused I refused I didn't want to take anything from my mental health I felt like that was just going too far I felt like that was just gonna make me feel crazy um, I can assure you that it's none of those things if you need help please get the help that you need and my advice as well especially if you are of color and you decide or you're considering taking medication for your mental health to probably keep this information close to your chest because a lot of people around you your family and your friends might try to convince you of otherwise but it has been very very helpful for me and obviously I'm not a doctor <laughs> um, so obviously go see a psychiatrist a therapist and work with your healthcare team um, to come to this decision however I feel better the first week that I started taking the medication it felt like like if you were to envision my nerves my nerves were just burnt fried hot okay like my whole nervous system was just fried and I feel like that first week that I took the medication it just felt like milk of magnesia was just <laughs> gently poured over my nerves and I was just calm down calm down praise God <laughs> praise God I yeah it is life changing it is life changing I I felt like I was just called to say this today I actually didn't even have plans to film a video like this today uh, hopefully this has reached the right people um, who needed to hear this just to get that extra push to just go for it and get the help that you need if you have reached this far <laughs> in the video please show me some love comment with a heart let me know like did your family and friends did they try to tell you to go on a walk <laughs> did they tell you to drink some green juice like if your nerves are battered and bruised and hot and inflamed you know what I'm talking about because if <laughs> if you have been there you know what I'm talking about there's more there's more out there that might be able to help you so I love you guys so much thank you for watching and I'll see you next time <laughs> <laughs>